We have an ordinance appropriating funds for employee pay adjustments for various departments in the city of Conway. And Mr. Grimes, are you going to talk about this or is this? I'm going to briefly go through it. Go right um, ahead. The way we did in the committee meeting. This was talked about in committee meeting. I won't repeat everything, but basically we did this last year for the first time. We compared city salaries, Conway city salaries to the municipal leagues salary survey. And because we, the city competes with private employers, but also with other cities for employees, we want to make sure our employees, when compared to the cities, rank as, as good as they can. And so we've identified certain job, uh, job titles that fall in the bottom 20% of the municipal league survey, and a few others that fall into the bottom third, but mostly the bottom 20%. And we've identified those to receive a mid-year bump in pay to help compensate them and get them better higher on the municipal league's scale. We did this last year and it worked out well. In addition to that, we're going to take all, we have 43 positions that pay under $15 an hour. Uh, the mayor and Lisa Mabry Williams has, have wanted to get those to $15 an hour for a while and it's the right thing to do for a lot of reasons. It'll make a big difference. But look, someone paid $12.38 an hour. And we're competing against fast food places mm -hmm. to pay more than that. So. 43 positions will now move to a minimum, well, starting at $15 an hour. That'll add $81,000 annually to the general fund. The positions that we are adjusting due to the salary scale for the municipal league will add 116,000 from the general fund for a total of about 208,000 annually. The raise are effective July 1. So this year will hit uh, half of that, about $104,000. Make a motion to waive the three readings. Second. A motion and second to waive the three readings on this item. Uh, Mr. Garrett. Uh, all in favor of waiving those readings say aye. 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 All opposed? That passes seven to zero. Make a motion for the adoption of the ordinance 02269. Second. We have a motion and second to adopt the ordinance. Any further discussion? Any questions from Mr. Grimes or Mr. Winningham? think it's the right thing to do. Yeah. It is. Thank you. It's always a good thing we can give our employees yes. a little more money. Always. Mr. Garrett. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Ms. Smith? Yes. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. And that passes 7 to 0. And that was uh, Ordinance 69? Correct. Is that yes. correct? Thank you. Thank you, Felicia. I appreciate it. And uh, Mr. Grimes, you have done yeoman work on uh, study for salaries for our city employees. And I'm going to turn this over to you at this point. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Acting Mayor. Thank you. <laughs> Better than some of the things I there act you go. like. Um, this is new to Ann, but this is the same exercise we went through last year. It's the second year we've done this, and I'll try to go through this briefly. And trust me, just like last year, this spreadsheet is not nearly as complex as it looks. This is just the accountant geek in me getting to play on a spreadsheet and having too much fun. So basically, the Municipal League does an annual salary survey of its member cities, and while you know, it, it may not be perfect. It is something that's been around for a long time, and it's something that cities can benchmark themselves to by salaried positions. And it actually is a pretty good, after, after looking through it for two years now, it's actually a pretty good um, exercise that the municipal league does. So what we decided to do last year was let's take our positions and the pay, the average pay for our positions, rank them against the municipal league averages and mm -hmm. see where they stack up and try to attack the lowest, not lowest paid necessarily, but the lowest percentage wise, mm -hmm. because we compete, the city of Conway is an employer and it competes against other employers mm -hmm. in the city and in the area, uh, which includes other cities. And so other people that work for the city have options to go work for private employers, but also to work for other cities. And so this helps try to make us at least more attractive against other cities, mm -hmm. okay? And so the target last year was anything where our ranking falls in the bottom 20%, we don't need to be in the bottom 20% mm -hmm. of the pay on the, on the average. And that's the same methodology for this year. So this first sheet shows where all these 
positions ranked out. And there was about, I think, eight that fell in the bottom 20%. And then there's the bottom 50% are ones that we could also, you know, look at because eventually they may get to the bottom 20% if, if we don't do something. But, but the, the main focus is on the bottom 20%, okay? Now, before I get to that, turn to page two. This is something that Lisa Mabry Williams talked about. It's something we've talked about internally for a while. Forget the salary survey for a minute. We've got 43 full-time positions in the city that pay under $15 an hour, all right? Under, you said pay under $15 an hour. That's less than $30,000 a year for a full-time job, all right? Um, you know, you've got fast food joints now paying $15 an hour. You've got places mm -hmm. paying $15 an hour. Um, some of these are very hard to fill because of the low pay, and some of them are demanding. They work outside. But what we would like to do is take every, the, the minimum starting hourly pay mm -hmm. for all city jobs, $15 an hour. And what it affects are these 43. Mm -hmm. And you can see 18 um, is in the general fund. It's an annual cost of $58,000. Uh, three is in transportation, $4,300 is the annual hit. And then 22 of them are sanitation. Uh, it's a $19,000 hit. So what that does is at eighty-one thousand dollars annually between those three different funds, but it, it that's Lisa thinks it will be a good recruiting tool, or a good retention tool, and it's it's really just the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Now, what you'll notice too, though, if you look in transportation, by bumping the maintenance specialist one to fifteen, that actually put them too close to the two position. Mm -hmm. So we need to put a little bump to the two to fifteen fifty. But again, that's um, there's actually nobody in that position right now, so that's kind of moot. But if you go to sanitation, there's three collectors that needed just a slight bump, too, to keep that gap there, but it's $1,600. So anyway, that's the first thing we're going to propose, is to take all those to, to 15. Along those same lines, any, well, depending on the time of year, there's anywhere between 40 to 45 part-time positions. Most of them are, and part-time positions all pay $11. Mm -hmm. Lisa would like to bump that to 13. Most of them are very part-time, summertime, help in the parks, mowing, that stuff. But she said that would also help. Um, it's hard to fill. You can't, you can't fill them $11 oh, yeah. an hour. And so we didn't put a dollar amount to that because, again, some, some part-time positions may work 100 hours mm -hmm. in the whole year. Some may work, you know, I don't know, 25 hours a week. Some, some of them are full-time, part-time. Yeah. But anyway, so we, our first recommendation is going to be to take the $15 an hour for full-time and then $13 for part-time. Part -time. So that, that's that. Now, if you go back to salary scale on page 3, this is what we did in 2021, just as a refresher. That we had five that fell in the bottom 20%, and then we actually addressed, oh, maybe nine, 10 more that was close or needed, needed some movement. And so just, just walking, let me, let me, we had Lisa and Tyler rank these positions on three criteria. And I think the easiest one to kind of explain that is go down to deputy city attorney, which was kind of in the middle of the yellow section there, the first column, you see a three, five, three, totals up to 11. Well, the first column is difficulty to fill. Well, let me, let's, the middle. The middle is specialized skills. It got a, it's five is high because you gotta be a lawyer. Okay? I mean, mm -hmm. I just got Is I that the highest it can go on the scale? That's right, five. It's, it's five, mm -hmm. five is high, okay. three is medium, one's low. Okay. okay. So they couldn't hire me to do it. It's gotta be a lawyer. So it's a specialized mm -hmm. skill. That's why it's got a five. Okay, difficulty to fill. Three, well, there's a lot of lawyers out there, but most of them have jobs, and so it's, mm -hmm. you can't just pick them up every day. And then uh, the third one's criticality. How critical is that position? And you know that you could you could argue these, but you know it, it's not the most important position. Charles's is, but it's also right. more than a one. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the thought process on ranking these. Last year, remember, we also did a $400,000 bump to the police as part of this process. But you can see the total in mid-year increase last year was 493,000. And it was all general fund. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, if you flip over to the next page, this is 2022, what we're looking at. And again, it's all general fund. The doing what we propose here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, eight positions of bottom 20%. This would take all of them except one out of bottom 20%. It, it take them, you know, anywhere from, well, it, it takes them down to the yellow, but it takes them out of the bottom 20%. And, 
And, it, and it's, it's really not a lot of money. The total is $77,000 to get them mm -hmm. out of that. Now, it does not, the network, some of these are so far behind that you can't do it in one lift. Right. Yeah. And we noticed that last year, like network mm -hmm. coordinators, very important job, but they're so far under the average. And those are people who could and would leave to go to oh, yeah. North Little Rock mm -hmm. or For somewhere. Sure. I mean, they, they, that, with that kind of job, they can go with places. Mm -hmm. So we did give them a pretty decent bump. Still not where they need to be, but it, it's a start, and they'll fall in that bottom 20% again next year, and we can try to look at it look again. At it again. Uh, so anyway, those are the ones, and then the, there were a handful in the yellow We've all talked about the inspectors, mm -hmm. and we know that they that those are hard to fill, and they're very critical because it's public safety. And we always had parity with those. Some cities, you see the differences in the rankings and the average municipal pay is, some cities pay their electrical different than mechanical, different than plumbing. We pay all of our inspectors the same, okay? And so this keeps them all the same, but gets them really out of that yellow area for the most part, and, and should take care of them for a pretty good while. But the total of this is $116,000 to do that. So between the two, it's about $205,000 on an annualized basis. If we do this mid-year July 1, it's hundred grand to this year's budget. So I went through that a little bit quickly, but if you have any questions, um, please holler. I got one question. Yeah. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm the question guy. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Is our funds okay to make this? Tyler? It's Tyler. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah. do we have enough money to make this increase? Okay. Hey, David, on the electrical inspector? Yes. I mean, on the plumbing and gas, it shows 622. I mean, are those, you said those would all be paid the same amount, all the inspectors, or? Currently, all of our inspectors are paid 45760 It would take them all to 50000 even. Okay. On an annualized basis. That's what I was trying to figure out, which one it would do. We, and, we, and we have one electric, one plumbing, three building, and three mechanical. For a head count. So, where does Vincent fall in this, Lisa? Had the head building inspector. The head building, ins yeah, the head building. Say so. Yeah. It's not. Okay, so he's not included. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure he's making more than what these are making at this level. That they won't once we've got making a department head mm -hmm. salary. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't know what that was. But this 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 goes a Is long way towards getting us out of the bottom twenty percent for two years. Now of course every year it will change a little bit. Mm -hmm. It raises too. Yeah. And so this doesn't just get us out of the woods forever, but it keeps us up and gets us where we need to be and it gets us a lot closer. And I think maybe within a couple of years we won't have any of the bottom twenty. Then maybe we can mm -hmm. refocus like let's stay at the bottom twenty five. Right. Move that down. Right. And, just, and you know, the pool will keep getting less mm -hmm. and less, but we'll, over time, this, this makes a big difference. Well, and I like the idea of the um, bumping up to $15 an hour. I mean, that's something we had to do because trying to keep people yeah. is so hard. Yeah, like you said, that's not fair. Mm hmm. Yeah. If you work in a sports department out there and cutting the grass, <laughs> I, I said, hmm. David, thank you for your time and yes, work on sure. this along with well, Lisa, Le Le Lisa and everyone and else that Lisa had a and Tyler do yeah. a lot of the help too, but it, it, it's in Barton Felicia. Sure. But we, mm -hmm. um, no, it, it's a good exercise. Well, we're gonna get to it's on the agenda. It is on the agenda tonight for mm -hmm. later. Yeah. Yep. Because it, it, the, the agenda item is to make them effective mid year through July 1, mm -hmm. just like last year. Yep. Questions of Mr. Grimes or? Ms. Mabry Williams or Mr. Winningham. So what's on the agenda is this? This. And yes. This. And, and that. The mm -hmm. ordinance that puts that into work. Okay. Mm -hmm. the the I think I read it. Yeah. I just yeah. wanted to make sure since this is my first go around. Yep. yep. Gotcha. 